Um, <laughs> tonight, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my garden because it's sunset right now. I want this to blow up in my face. Oh, there was a bird in there, in my garden. Um, it's sunset right now. And so it's the perfect time to show you guys my garden, show you guys what's going on. And hopefully the signal doesn't cut out or anything like that. But I want to show you guys like the plants that I have back there, the growth that's going on. Every time my mom comes over, she's like, like I make her come <laughs> back in the garden. I'm like, come back into the garden with me. Every single time my mom comes over, I'm like, let me show you the garden. Um, Cause we have some cool stuff happening back there. Like I have a 40 year old plant back there that is flowering. So I'm gonna show you guys the flowers that are like starting to bloom on the 40 year old plant that I have. Hi Winnie, you were first. Hi y'all. So tonight I'm gonna give you guys a sunset garden tour. We're gonna go outside once people start joining and I'm gonna show you guys my plants. And I really wanna show you guys like everything that's going on in my backyard because um, like I was saying, like every time my mom comes over, I'm like, come on, let's go back in the garden. I wanna show you. So I figured I would do a live and show you guys. Hi Elise, just so you know, I have not read your email yet, Elise, but I have received it. But know that I haven't read it yet because I wanna be able to sit down and respond. I have not been on my um, desktop computer for, I don't know, how many. So I'm gonna be on tomorrow. I'm gonna have the dogs with me. Okay, so enough people are on so uh, let's go outside i'm gonna start showing you guys my plants my uh garden cart which is failing i'm gonna have to move it major issues going on with the garden cart you guys will see um thank you you say i look pretty i just came from the barn like i'm literally like sweating um uh i gave harvey a bath and uh i gave him a purple shampoo bath so he's like super white hi lily yes the face behind the asmr voice period here i am tap 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 <laughs> someone said um give us a trick like someone was like give me a trigger warning before you uh like tap so i'm gonna do trigger warnings from now on yes i love it okay so you're all ready because i'm gonna go outside now i think enough people are on um and my email is pgmaddie at gmail.com hi buttercup okay so let's go outside um and i want to show you guys everything And pumpkin's gonna come with us. So let's get into it. Y'all like my fit? Yeah. You ready, Pumpy? Wanna show the backyard? She says, Mommy, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, we have another visitor. Hi, Half Halt. Hi, baby. Okay, let's go. So hopefully this does not um, like cut out or anything while I'm out here, but, and let me know if it does. So this part is like terrible because everything blows here. And this is like a fake piece of grass that I got when Pumpkin was a puppy to try to make her potty trained outside and it didn't work. This is like an old bench from my mom. It's like super old. Um, there's bowls out here because sometimes the dogs will be out here playing and I always want to make sure they have water. So here we are in the garden. And when we first come through, that is red yucca. And yeah, pumpkin's like, I'm free. That's red yucca. And as you guys can see, it is flowering and coming up. And red yucca produces these cool red um, flowers that come all the way up. Now behind here is my first little fairy garden. This is... A little tomato one and then on this side is my main this is my main fairy garden and you guys can see the sunset so pretty hi sapling um so this is a big uh rose bush and what i did here is i went in and i snipped all of the places that had like dead um buds and literally like it absolutely popped with buds so this one is about to bloom my other one is in full bloom so i'll show you show you guys that but this is my fairy garden i have a gnome a teapot another gnome i have a fairy garden out front too 
There's the swing, a gnome. Um, there's a little frog. There's a plant, a pinwheel. I need to put all my other pinwheels out here too. This little thing, another gnome. Hi, Lexi. Um, I don't know what kind of roses these are, but feel free to chime in if you know what plants are what. There's the sunset, so pretty. And then this is rosemary. Hi, Bubbles. Um, and then here is my little fairy door and my toad in my mushroom, this little post, acorn post. <laughs> then I have a boot back there and I have, um, two gnomes, a mushroom, and then another like little house thing. This is another rose bush and this one is blooming a bit. Hi, dad. This one is blooming. Um, I haven't been to Five Below yet since my last trip. That's my bird bath, or like a bat, like a bird bath from South Carolina. This is my tomato plant, which did not come back. I thought maybe it would, but it is so zen, isn't it? So zen. I love my backyard so much. Um, so all of this is rosemary. That's rosemary and it's creeping rosemary. So it always will flower these purple flowers. I have a big pinwheel right there. And then this is a fern that I'm going to be able to put like as like a hanging plant. It's from South Carolina. Um, the tomatoes are dead. So I guess those aren't going to come back. Um, I have not even lived here a year, mama. Um, so when I'm, oh, sorry. I thought you said, when did I move in? So they're, they're asking when I moved in, did it look like this or did I have to put in a lot of work? So it did, it had individual plants with irrigation. Like this was all already set up and these all have their own little irrigation things. So they get like watered. Um, and yeah. So all of these were already here. I haven't planted anything other than the aloe vera that I'll show you guys. Here's a beautiful sunset. And here's my lemon tree. So first of all, this is also red yucca that hasn't um, flowered yet. And I'm kind of waiting for it to. This is a huge rosemary bush. I use this for cooking. That is a Mexican fan palm. Um, I'm reading the chat real quick. Yeah, I eat the rosemary. Oh, I love you too, Bubbles. Right? I do love to sit out here. You want to live in the fairy garden, so the rent is going to be $1 a month. Okay. Thank you, Dad. He says everything's growing well. So this grew. This started to come up about when I got here. And I thought to myself, what is that? And then it started to form this palm base. And I said to myself, oh, my goodness, that's a palm tree. And I told my mom. And we looked it up, and it's a Mexican feather palm or fan palm. This is a dwarf Meyer lemon tree. And I'm going to walk over here and show y'all what's happening with this because it's flowering. This is a really cool hummingbird feeder I just got that has a camera. We get three species of hummingbirds here that come. They kind of migrate and they come through. I have my wind chimes, which a subscriber gave this to me. Yeah, I love you guys. And then this one my mom gave me. And I have a gnome brick. These are really old, these little frogs. Um, and then here's my lemon tree. So literally, I don't want to, I'm not going to like show my neighbor's backyard, but I want to so bad because they have a lemon tree back there with lemons on it. Um, and yeah, so this is my dwarf Meyer. I'm trying to like keep my voice down in case they're like back there. 
Um, so this is my Dwarf Meyer lemon tree and it's flowering all over and apparently I'm gonna possibly get lemons after this. I don't know, but I'm like really excited and I um, put these uh, peels in here myself because this is what I heard. People were like, you need to fertilize it with citrus fertilizer. So I just took peels and just put them in the dirt and buried them all over. And when I did that, that's when all of these flowers bloomed. Um, and they're all over. So I'm really excited. And I really hope that I get some lemons because to be honest, it will make my entire life. All right. Then I have this little cat. I have two of these and then here's another fairy garden over here but this one's just a little fairy door and it's really faded it's one of my old ones and then it goes with this little cat um which is super old it's from our friend from south carolina um now i have some grass popping up because i've chose i've chosen to let it grow because i'm sorry but i like grass so when they came and like weeded a bit, I had them leave this because I personally like to see it. <laughs> um, it reminds me of home. Here's my rocking chair. I love to just rock and my mom loves it too. That's my hose. And this is one of my plants I'm really proud of. Um, it's like a draping plant and it's beautiful. It's pink, purple, and white. And I'm really proud of that one. Now, oh my gosh, look at the sunset. It's so beautiful. Um, don't judge, but this is what happened to the garden cart, y'all. Um, it's 6.57. So it's almost 7 o'clock, and this is how it looks here. Um, so garden cart was a complete failure um, because of where it is. So the tomatoes are not dead, but the peppers died, and the cilantro died. And the peppers, like... They were about to flower, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, but I'm going to need to move this to full sun because where it is... Hold on, let me back up. I'm being such a nerd right now, and I love it because I can tell you guys absolutely everything. Hi, pumpkin. Um, yeah, so this rocking chair is from... Oh, it was a brand. It was a brand. Oh, I have a video way back when I did this rocking chair. I got it from a really cool brand that makes all these. But yeah, it's wood. Um, so you can see the garden cart is underneath my roof. And so it never really gets full sun. And because of that, all of this has died. So I'm like, oh, this needs full sun. So what I'm thinking about doing is moving it like there because there's a spot i know it's weird it looks like someone said it looks like i live in a prison yard and i was like don't say that because <laughs> the concrete walls but i'm like no it's cute you gotta get used to it it's charming it's a desert charm okay so now these are the i took the uh cushions off of these but i'll show you where i put them this is a complete failure. I'm going to need to move this to full sun. These are my strawberries. And let me show you guys what's going on. I love the golden hour here. But y'all, look what I'm doing. Look at these strawberries. Like, it's producing so many. So what the strawberry plant does is I got this for 20 bucks at Lowe's. Um, inside of here, there's also strawberries. So every time it flowers, the flower turns into a strawberry and it will just drape. And you can, if you see like big uh, strawberry pictures on Facebook of like these extravagant strawberries, um, I don't know if you guys have seen that on Facebook, but like if you give them enough space, they will just spread. Um, so the newest thing in my garden, um, uh, this, this is uh, elderberry. This is the newest thing in my garden. This is an elderberry tree bush thingy. This is the thing. So it's elderberry um, and it wants direct sun, but it's a baby right now. So I have it over here. Um, and I still have this because I'm like, I don't know how to take care of you fully yet. So I still, um, but yeah, so far this has grown all of this and it just keeps kind of making leaves. So we'll see where that gets to. 
Oh, Sid says they grew colorful carrots once and it actually worked. Oh, I love it. I know, aren't the strawberries cute? I'm obsessed. I'm like, yes. Um, now, here's the sunset. So pretty. I love it. It's so pretty. Pumpkin's like, I'm about to get that dog. So this is my 40-year-old plant. This is some sort of elephant succulent or something. I know it looks pretty wicked, but um, I know elderberry is so good for you. And that's why I was like, yes, I need an elderberry plant because I'm going to make jam and I'm going to make like everything out of it. Um, this is over 40 years old. Um, and it was given to me from our family friend in South Carolina and we brought it over here. I scorched it in the sun and I felt terrible. We didn't even know it was 40 years old at this time. And then our friend just casually tells us, oh yeah, those are the biddies. Oh, we've passed them down from generation to generation, you know, da, 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 da. And we were like, I'm sorry, how old is this plant? She goes, oh, it's at least 40 years. And we go, wait, what? <laughs> so I have this plant and it's on a stand that it came with. And this plant doesn't move, like it's in its pot. Probably like never gonna repot it. But what I wanna show you guys is that it's so happy here and I'm doing so good with it that it's flowering. So here's some of the flowers that are gonna come out. And then here's another um, sprout of the flowers that are gonna come out. I have no idea what they're gonna look like because I haven't met a single person with this plant or who has any knowledge of, the, of this plant. <laughs> um, hold on I'm, I'm reading this oh elderberry blueberry lavender lemonade oh that sounds amazing i know isn't it interesting looking yes don't eat them raw don't eat raw elderberries no 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 i would definitely like like i'm gonna make jam which it, which would mean i need to heat them up and cook them but yeah this plant gives like it gives so much energy and i love it now these are petunias um, and basically, you know, half of them are dead. So is what it is, but they come back pretty like easily. Another little bird bath. Um, this is my Chinese elm, which I just learned that it's a Chinese elm. This is the tree that was falling down. Um, <laughs> looks like Medusa, I know, right? Um, this is a Chinese elm, and I only learned that a couple, or no, I learned that today, literally, because I had a landscaper come over today. It was falling down, it was held up by this, um, and then this came, this broke, and essentially, because of all of this growth that I've had over the last year, which I'm personally proud of, they're saying that I would need to cut all of that, and then it would possibly stand up, but look how little the base is. That is my tree, and I'm in the desert where the wind absolutely whips. So what he told me is that I should have it tied for half a year. And I said, I don't want a tie-down strap in my yard. And he said, well, I said, what else can I do, like boulders or like whatever? And he was like, yeah, we could put some like boulders or whatever. But uh, essentially the pole that was keeping it up damaged it. This is... um what we tied originally no dollar tree is not closing y'all that the 99 cent store is closing and the 99 cent store sucks because you know why i'm just gonna say it from the jump you know why because 99 cent because it doesn't mean everything's 99 cent it just means it ends in 99 99 cents like illusion i was so mad so this is another little baby um red yucca coming up flowering um i don't have any oh i do have one cactus in the front i have a bunny eared cactus which will bloom pink this is my aloe vera that i planted which it is turning green again which means it's coming back uh this is my little day bed i put some stuff out here because i was like tanning during the eclipse but um i want to get a full mattress for this and I am getting a full mattress and then pillows and all the things. I'll be able to like watch the stars, tan, do whatever I want. And this was my bed um, at my mom's house. 
and my stepdad built this out of fence boards at our um, farm. Another rosemary. Um, yes, I saw the be the beauty blenders at Dollar Tree that were bu uh, bougie. Like, I forgot to put that on beauty on a budget, but I did film them. If the tree gets stupid, I'm not sure. There's no way Dollar Tree's going to close. Here's a um, hole that I'm going to have them plant something big here. But this is my biggest rosemary. That's the smoker. Um, let's see. Here's another red yucca. This one's not flowering. Here's some of the stuff I have on the walls. It's cute. That's my broom because I'm always like sweeping the rocks to make sure it's like a pathway, even though there's like dog poop everywhere. Um, I need to clean up. <laughs> This is like a plant that I got for fall. It, it was like on the lines of like a mum and I thought it was dead. And then all of a sudden it started coming back and I said, oh, you want to come back? So I need to come out here and like prune the whole thing and make it right. Um, this is huge thing of rosemary. And this is my, my little like experimental grass patch. Um, these are my strawberries from last year that are coming back. I know, right? Thank you guys. How do I keep the rosemary alive? I don't know. It just, it was, it came with the house. It has its own irrigation. It just waters um, on a timer. So this is my experimental grass patch because people were like, oh, grass doesn't grow here, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, let me, let me see. So I grew this basically from the rain and then this is a bird bath, but the rain grew this, and I just let it spread. Um, this is Latana, a Latana bush that is coming back to life. Pumpkin, get off that, girl. Look, watch this, y'all. Pumpkin, sit. Sit. Good girl. Look at you. Yeah. Don't eat that. No, no. We don't eat this. This puppy. This was grapes, but of course, um, it died, <laughs> even though I put this up. Um, how many bird baths do I have? Only two, and they were given to me by the family friend, and they're like super nice and big. So this is also growth from the tree, you know, and I don't know. I'm not cutting that off. I don't want to. And I didn't know this was a Chinese elm. And I'm like, who, whose idea was this? Because this house was a flip. So apparently the, th there were chickens back here or something. <laughs> they redid the backyard, like plant all this. Now, this is the, the best part for last. This is my rose bush um, that I'm most proud of. He, uh, pumpkin doesn't eat the plants. Like I'm back here and I'm, I'll be watching her. And she knows better than to actually eat any of the plants. Um, this is my rose bush that you look like each cluster has so many blooms and it's just beautiful. Like there's so many coming up. I can't wait to make like a simmer pot or something like a potpourri of like, like a spring, probably like lemons, some rose petals, um, like mint. Like something like fresh and like let it like boil in my house. But look at this. Like there's one here, but then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight around it. And they're like in clusters of three. I know, chickens. I know. How many plants do I have in total? I have no idea. But yeah, I have so many roses back there. It's so pretty. And I'm really proud of this. And you guys can see the sunset. I know I love roses. So the plants do not die in the winter. They really don't. Um, like the roses kind of just are dormant. And then basically that's the only thing that died was the Latana. So let me turn this around. So yeah. That's my backyard um, in my garden, and I'm so proud of it. And I come out here every day, and I'm like, 
checking on everything but i'm definitely going to change like where my garden cart is because it needs full sun for sure because everything's dying um i'm probably going to move it to the other side i also want to get a projector so that um oh you want the ba <laughs> the baby cactus is, is actually inside um so I did have a cactus from my dad's house that I transported from Maryland and it's doing okay, but it's inside. There's two like little like bulbs. It's on my fairy garden on the windowsill inside. Um, thank you. Um, yes, I can do more morning and night routines. And then also, um, what if the tree falls? It's not going to I have the tie, the tie down shop around it. Um, but yeah. This is my garden and I'm really proud of it. So thank you for um, coming along with me on this little tour, um, sunset tour. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing night and now I'm gonna order some dinner. I'm gonna order some Chipotle because I really, really, really want Chipotle. Um, and I'm probably gonna take a shower because I'm super sweaty from earlier because I was at the barn and it was like 80 something today. Um, and I gave Harvey a bath and my mom gave Candelaya a bath and it was really fun. And then, um, I wore my sun hat. Oh my gosh, that's coming down my street. I'd be like this. So they had their sirens all on, came down my street, turned them off, and then went that way. I'm so nosy, y'all. <laughs> I'm like the nosy neighbor. I'm like, anyways um all right i love you guys very much and i will be back on live um su super soon probably like tomorrow or the next day here's pumpkin what are you eating jesus i'm eating a rock mommy come here come here what are you eating <laughs> what are you eating that you shouldn't be look at her running away from me <laughs> you're bad Okay, y'all, well, I'm going to get off live. I love you guys very much, and I need to grab whatever she's eating. So I love you guys, and I'm going to get off. Bye.